Alright, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechakwadash, double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akimah that is pushing this 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity, this is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone, Mike McCann, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. Okay, this is just going to be uh, some words based around the scriptures, a few, you know, verses I have pulled up. Okay, going into how we are to, to glory in our infirmities. Okay, the scriptures warned us that, you know, the scriptures warned us of, of how our case would be here in Babylon the Great and and throughout the world which is which is uh under this beast system this beast vibration the, the vibration of Esau Edom the devil but mainly here in, in Babylon the Great okay scriptures tell you how, how this devil will wear out the saints the scriptures tell us how we'd be subject to payments and you know we're 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 slaves in this society. We're battling, you know, like like Neo in the Matrix, battling all different types of of poisons and toxins on a day to day basis. You know, brothers have wives and children. You 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 uh, have to be a damn ninja twenty four seven and you know block shit like Shaquille O'Neal all day long, right? Whether it's uh, physical toxins and poisons or or psychological toxins and poisons right guarding your 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 heart with all diligence as the scriptures say keeping uh subtle subliminal demonic programming from entering into your spirit and this shit gets tiring it gets vexing okay and the lord the lord warned us of our case the lord warned us how we would be in the last days, so you you know, so I'm just gonna go into some scriptures because until until Yahweh Shai returns and delivers us out of this case, gives us a new body, it's, it's no way out. We 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 can't run away, you know, because again in John 17, Yahweh Shai prayed to the Father concerning his men. And one of the things he asked the father for concerning his men was that he would not take them or remove them out of the world, meaning to, to uh, you know, kill them or give them the Enoch treatment, right? So that they would, you know, escape. That's the only way you escape this hell. Because cause you... you, you in this truth, you find out real fast that that hell doctrine is bullshit. I mean, in the 100% truth. And and we are in hell. This is hell. It can't get no worse than this. All right? Which is... <laughs> I say that lightly because it's going to get worse. But... You know, it can't get much worse, I say. But, um... He said, I... I I would that you not remove them from the world, but that, but that, uh, let me just get it. I don't want to butcher it. This is John 17 and 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Okay, so that's the point. Yahweh said, I don't want you to remove them from the world, but that thou should just keep them out of away from the evil, which that is a a clear cut to the to the rapture doctrine. Ain't no there ain't gonna be no rapture. Scriptures say with much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. Right? So anyways, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have infirmities in this place. You know, it's there ain't no way around it. We ain't none of us you know, Yahweh Shai had infirmity. The scriptures tell us that. 
right? We were stricken with, with grief, and so the, the servant is not above his master. Okay, Yahweh Shai could have turned iron into gold, yeah, he still worked the job. <laughs> you know? So we 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 were we we were placed here to suffer. And we gotta understand that fully and and not try to run away or shy away from that, but the only only thing you can do is embrace it and embrace it heartily, be, you know, knowing that the spirit of the Lord is with you. Because you got these people in the world, they could try to shy away from it and run away from it, take drugs and you know, fill their their time with with chasing vanity to try to escape. But at the end of the day, they ass is still here too, and and it, and and real life is gonna catch up with them one way or or another. And they don't got the spirit of the Lord. They ain't not gonna have the spirit of the Lord with them to to deal with it when when shit really is in their face. Okay, but us that know this truth that that know what's going on that do have the spirit of the lord you know we shouldn't be trying to shy away from from the 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 realness of of our situation okay but embrace it knowing that the lord is with us and to glory in our infirmities so we're just going to get some uh scriptures concerning that right this is second corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 it says, this is the Apostle Paul, right? It says, uh, thorn in the flesh, right? Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, right? Because uh, the Apostle Paul was being taught by Yahweh Shai directly, which nobody can say they, they got that treatment. So Paul was a very special brother. To to Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai Okay And You can't just take Any old nigga And give him that type of treatment Because they They gonna think They king dingling Right And The scriptures tell us That knowledge puffeth up So even being in the flesh Spirit Proud spirits Try to get on you <laughs> For for knowing a little something So how much more Yahweh Shai Dealing with you directly So It says at least he should at least I should be exalted above measure meaning higher than he he was supposed to be because he wasn't even one of the 12 he said he was a, 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 of least of all the apostles right but he was getting he was receiving special treatment that show you it uh, he had a high level of grace you know we look look up that word grace okay Through the abundance of the revelations, because he was he was being dealt with at such a high high frequency, right? The spirit of the Lord was on Apostle Paul heavy. He had more works than all the apostles, but he wasn't an apostle. He, he called himself least of the apostles, right? There was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, which means to beat me. Lest I should be exalted above measure. So that was so the Lord allows Satan to to deliver a cruel message uh, unto Paul in the form of uh you know something dealing with his body because it said a thorn in his flesh. So it was a physical ailment. We don't know exactly what it was because he didn't go into detail. Right? Because it, it, it doesn't matter. It's not important. Right, but it's it's just the fact. The reason behind it was to humble him. So, if that happened to the apostle Paul, that's gonna happen to us. The Lord is gonna give us thorns in our flesh. The Lord is gonna allow Satan to to jack us up in certain ways, so we remain humble, one, and so that we won't get comfortable in this uh, hell that we're in, and that we. Uh, keep desiring the kingdom Okay Verse 8 For this thing I besought the Lord thrice That it might depart from me 
right? Which reminds reminds me of Yahweh Shai, right? Praying three times to remove that cup from from him that he had to go through, which is it's spiritual, right? It's just spiritual. I brought that out in the last lesson, which this is like a, a carry on from the last lesson, right? And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. Meaning, no, I'm not going to remove it from you. I've, I've given you the, enough grace to deal with it. You're going to deal with it. I'm not going to take it away from you, but I'm going to give you the strength to deal with it. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, the, the quote, the famous Bruce Lee quote. Pray not for an easy life, but for the strength to endure a hard one. Which that's 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 cold philosophy. That's 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 scripture, right? That's, that's scriptural, right there. Showing you, Bruce Lee was an Israelite, right? For my strength is made perfect in weakness. My strength is made perfect in weakness. We gotta meditate on that because we don't have no might in our flesh we don't have no strength of our own the Lord is our strength right he said my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore will I gl rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me so that's the cheat code that's the cheat code the cheat code is acknowledging your weakness acknowledging your fragility Acknowledging that you're in the flesh Acknowledging that you don't You don't got it all Acknowledge Like Micah said I will, I will bear the indignation of the Lord Because I sinned against We're sinners Not only in this life But in all our lifetimes And we deserve worse Than whatever it is We're going through right now Right But It's like We're the Lord's woman Right? Woman, a woman is the weaker vessel, right? But you got these women of today due to feminism and third, fourth wave feminism. Got them pretending to be men. Pretending to be something that they're not. Which is going to cause them to <laughs> get treated as a man. They want to act like a man. They're going to get treated like a man. They're going to get mad treatment. Now that's why they out here alone, single, broke, not being taken care of, and open to to being uh you know vulnerable to attack. At the worst time in history, going into going into Jacob's trouble. That's why scripture say many days and years, you careless women gonna be troubled. But that's due to not accepting your nature and and moving as such. Acknowledging that you need the, the stronger vessel, which is the man, to provide and protect you. So us being the Lord's woman, we have to acknowledge our weaker nature and acknowledge the Lord being the, the stronger one, our head, which is Yahweh Shai, to provide and protect for us. Not trying to, you know, think that you big and bad. Acknowledge your weakness. Acknowledge your infirmities. You know? Be happy that you have the Lord to, to protect and provide for you. You know? And I'm talking to myself first. That's the cheat code. That's the power. You see? So, so Apostle Paul, he figured it out. But it took, it took the Lord telling him, my grace is sufficient for, for thee. Because he... You know, so it's going to be things that we, we have going on in our life, certain thorns in our flesh and shit, you know, physical ailments, infirmities and other things that, you know, we get into the herbs and we get into certain things. I'm all for healing. I'm all I'm, I'm all the way on it with that. Right. And, and eating right. Right. Cutting out the bullshit. But it's going to be certain things that we just can't get over. And that's that's when you have to acknowledge. That's when you just gotta put it in, put it in the you know cash your burdens on, on the Lord. That's when the that's when you activate the power. That's when you activate the strength. 
Okay. Verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for and distresses for Hamashiach's sake. For Hamashiach's sake, that's the point. No, you ain't getting in bullshit because you just being a nigga and doing dumb shit. You going through shit because it's it's because you in the faith, it's because you in the truth. Right? For when I am weak, then I am strong. Going back to the analogy of the woman. Or when a woman acknowledges her weakness and that she needs her man, that's her strength. That's that's where she get her power. That's where her power lies at. You know, being a woman, being feminine. That's a, a woman can easier, easier, much easier get a man to do something for her just by being feminine and, and friendly. Right. And using her feminine charm and, and seduction to get things done for her than trying to badger a, a nigga to do some shit for her. Trying to force or, or yell at a guy to, to, you know, curse a dude out and shame, you know, insult, guilt, need to be right, a, a, a man into doing something. So they don't, they don't understand. They don't, they don't, they don't know where their power lies. In the same way, we have to know where our power lies, and that's in the Lord. Not in ourselves. Okay? So we have to we have to flip the switch in our brain to bring it. You have to have that spirit. Bring it on. Bring it on. Whatever it is, I'm going to bring it on. Bring it on. Because that's 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 when I'm strong. Oh, I, I don't have no energy. I'm tired. Well, I, I, the Lord got it. The Lord going to be with me. I don't got no money. I'm, I'm fucked up. Well, that's when the Lord going to step in. Oh, when, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, that's when the standard is going to be lifted up. Right? Something bad happened? Okay, now the Lord is going to step in and, and, and work a miracle. Now I'm going to depend on, on, on my Lord. Right? So that's just something I want to speak on real quick. Lord, was that a fine? With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hakodash, and until the next one, Shalom.